Welcome back to Lemmings World Tour, everybody! Praise be to God on this glorious day. I'm Colorful Artie, your host as always. We're continuing with the amateur rank today. And this is like the third or fourth episode that I've recorded today alone, because I'm just having a blast with this pack, and I'm just itching to get some more levels down. So we're on level 11, Whole Lot of Lemmings, by Led Zeppelin. We got 80 Lemmings, gotta save them all, release rate of 99, and... Ooh, you know, this level actually reminds me of, like, the style of level that original Lemmings would use, so with, like, all the rainbows on top. And it's just a nice-looking marble level. Also, props to you for using, like, the little pink clump stuff on the bottom here, because I am terrible at using those. There's also no pre-level text, which was interesting. So we got ten climbers. Wait... Oh, I see. Okay. If you're wondering why I wasn't talking, it was because my jaw was dropped at how amazing this music is. Woo! Rondo Alla Turca has always been one of my favorite Lemming songs, and this <laughs> this does it justice. Is this gonna be like a no added colors or lemmings faint kind of solution? I do believe it will be. Just have to mine from the red spot. Well, it's a good thing we're not using... We're not playing regular lemmings. Because this is one precise mine that you have to do. Wow. Uh... <laughs> So you're already putting one of the hardest levels in Lemmings in the first official rank. Cool! You know what? I like that level a lot. I like the architecture, and I adore the music, and I am so happy we'll be hearing that music more times throughout this pack. Level 12, Smoke on the Water, by Deep Purple. Love that song. We got 40 Lemmings, 40 to be saved. So it looks like we've got the desert at the bottom, and then the clouds on the top. Swimmers can survive any fall if they plunge into water. Learn to make use of that. I'm pretty sure we've already needed to know that for prior levels. Just saying. Alright, so it's pretty clear that... These guys are going to have to bomb their way down, then. Ding, ding, ding. All right, well, hmm. All right, got to think about this then. <laughs> That's a very interesting hole that that bomber made. I like this the style of uh, this this particular track because it really reminds me of the DOS uh, version of this music, which is the best version of London Bridge is Falling Down ever recorded in human history. Hashtag totally not biased. Alright, so we can lose quite a few lemmings. What I'm thinking is, there's two bombers there, and a bomber on top, the lemmings will fall down and swim. 
but we've got to find a way to hold them back first, so... out that release rate. Actually, if at all possible, I'd like to Yeah, that's better. I hope that five bombers is enough to get them out of there, though. I don't think it will be, though. gonna be tight. Hmm, well that's a problem now, isn't it? First off, right, they're all soldiers, cool. Hmm, they're still trapped there. Well, that makes them go the wrong way. That's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? But it doesn't have to be necessarily. This is precision bombing, really. Oh, come on! This should not be being splatted there. Not press the reset button, I don't know what they were talking about. Ah, it's so hard to get the bombing just right.
I'd love to be able to... Hmm. Who's the one exploiting right now? Ah, doggone it! Didn't want to have to do this, but... Bomber, is that number one? No, it's not number one. It's not number three. Oh, come on, that is so not. Well, that took longer than I was hoping it would. Holy cow, that... I mean, it's not a bad level, don't get me wrong, but it's... It's trickier than I was expecting. Come on! What's it going to take to just get them freaking out of there? don't really know how much clearer I have. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. It's a little too precise. Especially for early difficulty. Like, it's easy for me to see the solution, it's just... Pulling it off is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one, I must say. I mean, it's... It's not a terrible level, it's just way more precise than it should be. Especially considering that, like, it's just trying to teach you you can survive by going in the water. That level could have been done a lot better, I will say. Should not have taken ten minutes to solve that level. Level 13, IO Technology by Milo. Well, you've got 60 lemmings, we can kill two of them. Well, I like the abstractness of the architecture here. We've got the lick spheres. Oh, and this is introducing radiation and or slow freeze. Okay, I've not been looking forward to these levels. Radiation can be both a nasty hindrance and a useful tool. It turns a lemming into a bomber once the countdown above its head has expired. Strato has said, though, that the radiation or slow freeze is intended to to be as user-friendly as possible, and thus he gives us things like blockers to help us time where they'll actually go off. Ooh, black steel, I like that. Gentle piano music, I like that. I'm a sucker for the piano. Okay. I don't like the... that really does look like solid terrain. What an interesting conundrum. Let me try something. Who's falling off a cliff? They are falling off a cliff. Boom. 
Yeah, so here's what I want to test. How many platform? We got a ton of platformers, so... Is that gonna put him? Interest. Because the problem is those are steel spheres, so. Hmm. Simple solution. Don't overcomplicate it. We have plenty of blockers. Let's just make two blocker traps at the top of each hatch. I'm already seeing the conundrum will be well you've got the blockers but how are you going to get over them I've got an idea now first off before I do anything else I want to make sure can I actually get them out well what Wait, you can assign a stoner to a block. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Cool, we have our solution. Pass through blockers to the rescue. That's actually... I can't believe I never knew that. I guess I never just put two and two together. Which is probably bad, considering this is what it means. Yeah, I really should stop overcomplicating the levels. Just do that. Clone the lemmings in there. Make him a stoner. Oh man. Wait. Wait, hang on a second. How come he can't That makes no sense. They should walk past him while he's doing the Ono animation. Colin Bull on that one. Here's a question. If we move, make the blocker farther forward. What the heck? How come he keeps his hitbox while he's doing the Ono animation? That's stupid. That is very dumb. Very, very dumb. All right, well, new strategy. We're doing scientific experimentation today. And I have no idea what the results of said experiment will be. I'm just hoping that they will be fruitful. my question. The instant he touches the radiation, if we clone him, what's going to happen? How far is the corner going to go? Okay, see, that's good to know. 
So he'll go that far. How about this guy? See, that's a problem for me. Because he went... He didn't travel as far as I would have liked him to. But here's the question. If we put the blockers farther back, particularly this one... Like, if we bring him back here, that might change some things. Likewise, we're going to put this guy also farther back. This is an interest, interesting rock remix of Builders Will Help You Here. Alright, so if we're, we're going to do that. Likewise, we're going to do this. Ah, we actually need to make that blocker farther back. How about this guy, though? I'm calling foul on that one, Strato. That's way too precise. Alright, so that guy needs to be farther forwards. That guy needs to be farther backwards. One, two, three. Let's make this guy as far back as we can, just so we get a nice baseline. calling big time foul on the left side though because you literally have to make him a cloner the instant he touches this and it's just barely just barely doesn't cut the platformer oh you, you've got to be kidding me Yeah, like, that's literally one pixel that causes him to not get, uh, beat up. Thank goodness we have plenty of corners, because holy cow, this level would not be good if we didn't have that many corners. We saved an extra lemming. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of radiation or slow freeze, and a level like that is similar to what I why I don't like them is because oftentimes they get too precise and too fiddly and if it's this precise and fiddly this early on I'm not looking forward to what it might be like later down the line then again if I didn't do that correctly then that's on me not on strato all right level 14 meet me halfway by the black eyed peas we can kill a lemming this time some skills can pass through each other without getting interrupted <laughs> oh, oh no are you do oh oh sweet uh, if this is what I think it is, then sweet. Yeah, it is. It's it's we're doing um we're doing a kind of crazy Christmas crossing thing here. I love this hymn a lot. So what we're doing here, for those of you who don't know, is um we're gonna have a minor on this side and a minor on this side cross in such a way that they'll, they can, uh, the miners will cross each other and it will connect everything together. Alright, we'll make him into Walker three pixels earlier. One, two, three. If we do that. Let's see if this works. Nope. So he's higher up. Okay. 
I'm calling foul on this one a little bit because the uneven terrain makes this way harder than it should be. If there's too, it's too much, I would say. So I guess what we're going to have to do instead is we'll make him start mining first and then we'll just kind of experiment until we can get the right positioning with this miner. Alright, so he was he was too early so we're going to have to delay his walking. Delay the walking a little more. I am glad you gave us a walker to help time this. But what I tried to do with my crazy Christmas crossing levels is I really did try to mark the terrain where you want the guys to start mining from. And also make their release rate such that they will cross each other naturally without needing to do this timing stuff. He was just slightly higher. Or he was slightly lower, actually. So let's instead try mining from right there. Okay, see, now we did it. We made him walk a little er, uh, late. Let's make him walk at the start of that pit. He'll start mining as soon as he moves out of that pixel pit. Alright. This is what I'm talking about. This is where it gets... If you don't do it right... Then this level gets incredibly frustrating incredibly quickly. He's still a little faster, so we need to make him turn around a little earlier. So it's really just about lining this up perfectly. They cancelled each other? I did not know that was possible. We need to make them a little closer together. Let's make them mine one pixel farther apart. So let's make you mine there. Alright, no, that's... The Don't like that. Let's try reset. All right. If we mine all the way back here, maybe that's what we need. Or maybe not. So we need him to walk over. I'm going to try that, because that's a really nice starting spot for him. And then we just need to worry about timing this one. I mean, alright. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that. Yeah, he's still way too... Two, two. And we have it now. Cool. Oh, and we did it in such a way that the climbers will also not be screwed up by stuff. Who fell? That idiot fell. Well, what are we going to do about that?
Gotta say, I don't like this. At all. Alright, next question. Can we mine in such a way? No, we can't. I was wondering if we could mine in such a way that these guys could climb up without needing the other miner, but no, of course not. I will say that's bad. That is bad, 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 bad. Very, very, very bad. I must ask, why do these guys have to be climbers? The fact that those guys are climbers, and that you can fall off this way, is dumb. And that should be fixed. Well, here's the thing. I don't think I can even do better than that. Because... Uh, Maybe there's something that I personally am missing. If I can use the, if I can, if I can find a way to use the builder in such a way that the guys who climb up here will, I don't see any way to do that though. If I still had my walker, I could just make him walk in the build, and then that would stop everyone else. But I absolutely need the walker up there. There's no way I could turn him around with a single builder. save that as a temporary replay just so I have the miners in the right place. I'm going to try something totally different. Because I see something that I don't like. Wow, did you literally do that pixel perfect so I can't mine that way and let them climb up? I think you did. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Here, let's have that guy build right out of the hatch. So he's too low down, alright. Alright, he's still too low down. That was really close, actually. He's still too low down, though.
The only thing I can think of is that this guy needs to just get lucky and be able to seal the gap he makes with a single builder. So now let's try that. Then let's try winding up the guy on this side. He's too high up. All right. Now we're getting to relatively even playing fields. Relatively. What the heck? Did I sign it on the exact same frame that he did it normally? Is using the freaking miner. You what the heck? I never assigned that to you, you doofus. How did this get so screwed up? Oh well, it's easy enough to get back on track. All right, he's still a little too low. One, two, three, four. Ah, the guy. How early do I have to make him mine? Very apparently. Again, gotta do the left side first. Here's my thing. It's such a cool trick, but if you want to put this trick in a level, you have to do it well. And, Strato, you have not done it well. Did not want to be the one to say it, but it's true. Alright, we'll do him from right there. Ooh, actually, hang on. Better idea. In order to try to get this a bit more precise, let's make that first lemming. Or let's make the first lemming pass by. 
Actually, let's max out the release rate, just because we can. Oh, and for the first time, that guy is lower down. Alright. And guess what, dude? You get the honor of instead... ...mining from there. He's still low down. Cool. earlier then. We didn't turn him around early enough. Okay, and then we overcompensated. Alright. I would recommend changing a lot of things about this level. Make it so it only makes you do the double minor trick, as opposed to, like, I don't even know why the heck these guys are climbers. It makes no sense. I don't know why climbers can fall off that side. It makes no sense. It doesn't play any role into this solution. I, I don't like it when that happens, where it's like, oh, that happened just because it could. That guy is too far ahead, so I'm going to make him walk a bit more before turning around. Walk to the very end of that hill. Still too fast. All right. Is this going to be it, at last? I think it is. Alright, I, I didn't- I don't like doing this, but I have to give that level two thumbs down, because it was just not done nearly as well as it could have been done. That should not be a thing. It, you should be- as long as you cross the two miners, you should be allowed to win just by using the builders. So seal this up, and for why are these guys climbers? Makes zero sense. Take that out. Wait. I could kill a lemming. So technically, when the guy fell off the cliff, I had beaten the level. I was about to say I take back everything that I said, but I really don't, because that still it still doesn't make sense that there are, the guys are climbers in the lower right and that the climbers can fall off on the lower left. I I would still say my argument stands. So, I mean that was my own stupidity partially, but also at the same time that was just not a very fun level. All right, we'll do one more. Level 15, Reen Reen. Okay, this one looks a lot better. It's a giant t uh, old-style telephone. This looks interesting. We can kill 10 lemmings. Holy cow. This is by ABBA. No pre-level text. Interesting. Also, I love the numbers you brought in from... <laughs> from the Kiwi tile set. That's really nice. Oh, I see what we're doing already. And this is might be my least favorite of the original I mean songs. Oh. 
See, this one is way cooler than the last one. I like levels where you have to traverse terrain in weird ways. And this certainly counts. Aw, oh, man! So I actually need that stacker there. Okay, well, I can kill a ton of them, so maybe I should just... Or maybe I should just build from as high up as I can, because that might have just... that might have also played a ball in it. Yeah, let's see if that actually makes any difference. Ah, don't like that. Yeah, I think that's much better. Okay. Alright. So far, so good. Now, how to turn them around. Oh, I think I know. I hope I'm right. Haha. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, that was a much, much nicer level. Much nicer level than the last one. And I'm glad that I played this one. Because now the video gets to end on a positive note. So I will say, I was not overly happy with the levels I played today. Except for this one. This one was really fun. But a lot of the others I've played, I had some pretty big problems with. So, I don't know. Maybe... Mm. I'd heard from a few formers that the amateur rank is where the level the pack starts taking a nosedive in terms of quality. I mean, I haven't found that to be the case for a lot of the levels. There were a few that just happened to be lumped together that I was not a fan of. And I hope I explain my reasons why I didn't like them well enough. And hopefully changes can be made uh, to the pack when uh, Strato updates it for the copious amounts of back roots that I have found in the pack. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry that I had to be such a Debbie Downer for a good portion of this episode, but hopefully the next five levels will be of higher quality, and I'll be able to get some more positive, upbeat commentary. I would love that. So, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless.